What's going on, YouTube? Appreciate you for tuning in. Today, we're talking about the new Sony Creative Lust I just dropped. I appreciate for everybody that's purchased them, where it's going to purchase them in the future at this video. I just wanted to give you a detailed, instructive video on how to use the LUTs and how to put them into DaVinci, how to use power grades, and how I go about using them. Usually, I would shoot with the LUT in mind, but most of the time, I always shoot with the Rec. 709 LUTs. If you are thinking about importing the LUTs into the camera and going for that profile, I give you all the credit. That's, that's how you get that look down almost 99% and you almost done. But I like to shoot in the Rec. 709 format and then bring it over to post. Sometimes I might show that look just to see, let the client see what's going on. But like I said, for most of the time, like I think all the time I shoot with a Rec. 709 look. But let's dive into DaVinci. I'm about to show you how to do it, how to import everything and make stuff happen. So in DaVinci, uh, it's a few a couple of things. I already got my power grades here, but this is what you're going to be downloading. If you want to uh, get those power grades in, you, all you got to do is simply go in the folder and drag it over. Boom. It's real simple. And for the less, it's kind of the same. It's real simple. I already got my lesson in again, like I said, but if you want to find your LUTs, all you got to do is press control and left click, reveal on finder, and then go to the LUTs and just drag them over. Like click, you copy and paste or do one at a time. You can name the photo, whatever you want to name. You can name it Clark Lutz, you can name it Sony Lutz, you can do whatever and just drag this over. And once you drag that over, all you got to do is press refresh and it will pop up in there. So like I said, mine is already in here, but that's a quick little tip if you didn't know how to do that. I really encourage everybody to color in DaVinci. DaVinci is a game changer. So many tools to help you dial in that color look. I came from Final Cut and I used to try to do certain things, but once I got over to DaVinci, they had, they had, that. <laughs> they had all that and more. So it's so much stuff in DaVinci that's gonna help you get that grade and achieve the look that you want. So let's get into a couple clips. Um, these are just random clips. It's a music video, it's like a documentary piece for Come America. This is my guy Frank. This is from a short film. And this is from like a just short piece I did with Ethan. So like, these lists are just not for music videos. They just are not for docs. They're just not for short, they're for everything. They're for everything creative. And I want to give just a special look and certain type of feel that's why they are film emulation looks to that Sony footage, but still keep it clean and fresh so you can kind of use it for anything. And if you want to adjust, you can go in there and adjust a little bit and make it switch yourself. But um, if you are new to color grading, you don't know, you can put everything in a group, which is what I'm going to do here. Just to kind of show you like what the looks, what the look do to, you got to go to the clip, what the look do to different footage. These all are shot on Sony, different lenses. I think I know what lenses they were shot on. Uh, yeah. the YT, yeah, that's cool. And um, I think this was shot on the Fuji 18 to 55. This was shot on Sigma Prime. Sigma Prime, this is a 16 and 35. These were shot on DZO Vestvid. And I think this was shot on my Sigma 24 to 70. So kind of different look, different feels, but all on the FX30, I believe. Yeah, all on the FX30 as well. So, and you could get a really good image with this. So. First things first, what I do, what I always do when I get in my grade, depending on how I'm going to approach this situation, if it's a music video and it's something small with not a lot of, not a lot of different things, I just group all the clips together. But if it's different things, I may group those clips in one group and then go on from there. And then I will put my, um, my post clip no tree on. And like I said, this depends on your workflow. If you want to do it individual clip by clip, you can just, a lot of time and that means you will probably be working with these nose a little bit more but since i have a lut i really don't gotta work with the look at all or the curve or, or really even a cst it is sometimes good to put that cst in there and just do sony sony so everything is is hidden depending on how you do your color management but really all you gotta do now is go to your luts and there's different ways to occupy the luts so you can like left click here go to your luts and drop down but just for we could just see them fast real quick. I'm gonna just hover over them and I'm gonna make this bigger. And like it's different looks, blue. It could look kind of crazy right now because sometimes when you shoot in the Rec. 709, I kind of just make sure I got information everywhere. And the sky was real bright and I know I wanted to get some detail in here, but I'm gonna go with the neutral look, double tap that. And like I said, now I will go on the clip level. Let me go back to here. Boom, oh, wrong one. And go to my clip level. And I just got exposure, white balance, and maybe a look adjustment. But really, since the LUT is applied, you might think this look crazy and why it's not perfect when I just put it on. All you really gotta do, bro, is 
turn this down a little bit, turn down the highlights a little bit more. Boom, maybe uh, do a little contrast. And I think you got a pretty good looking image right there, bro. It's like, that's it. And that's from the neutral look. Like, and if I wanted to look a little bit warmer, I go on my white balance and I could balance it out. But like that neutral look does so much with very little. Shit is milky, I believe. I feel like this is almost a final grade. But if you want to grade more, I do a power window, get him more like edged out and just make it look really, really good. Uh, I think when I did this grade in real life, I cut out all this. I made the sky a little bit more blue. I did a whole lot, but you don't got to do that. You could just, like, if you want to save time, you want stuff to look good, bro. These LUTs are just fire, bro. Like, look at that. It's like a couple clicks. We didn't do too much. This looks really good. Like, really, really good. And then since we got the LUTs on, on all the other uh, clips already, the neutral LUT is here. And it's similar, like a center frame type thing. So I'm just copying your face and see what it do. So now it's a little bit too dark, but still, that's looking pretty good. All I gotta do is do a couple of different adjustments in my, in my uh, color wheels over here. And and that's, that's looking pretty good. This is all that neutral look. So it's like, you don't gotta do too much, bro. Like these, these lets are hitting right out of cam, man. That's with the white balance off and on. So this is what it will look like fresh with the neutral light on with no white balance adjustment, just a couple, <clears throat> just a couple uh, exposure. And even I exposed this one kind of closer, but it's always nice to tweak your exposure, get that get that thing nailed in how you would like it. Probably do a power window coming from the, his right side just to make it then, but you really don't gotta do too much. And again, uh, we can see what it looks like since the exposure is already nailed. We can see what, it, what the scene looks like with a different color blue is kind of crazy 32 is nice 32 is nice it gives you that real warm nostalgic look <laughs> and i wonder like ethan now his look like crazy overblown but it's not again it's just another exposure thing um we go here and shit this is the cheat code when, you, when you're color green. you got a lot of clips you if you got like a nice structure you can really just copy and paste stuff his stuff just got to come down mid-tones a little bit and, and it's looking Pretty, pretty good already. I got the kind of where I want it. Then you go in there, you adjust this. It's looking fire. I think I, I would probably even do one more from the top side, a little gradient from the top. And this is all what color grading is. Like a lot of times people think LUTs are just the, the just of it, but LUTs are to get a base color and what these color transformation is doing with the film elimination it looks pretty fire but to really dial in the sauce you need to go in there and work with your exposure and power windows and just sh reshape light like as a dp you, you shape light on set and as a color you shape light in post so like a lot of people don't think that people just think color is color you just pull in saturation in different hues different places actually you are adjusting light and you're making that light hit for real for real so like Keep that in mind when you, when you color grading and, and and even when you in post, just think about different ways how you can shape this light and make it feel natural in the fall off. Like this is, is, is hard now. Just that little click is help, helping his hat, Ethan dial in. If I was a wild man, I'd try something like that. Oh, ooh, that, that does look good. That does look good. But yeah, you you can do so much, man, with these lusts and I'm, and I'm happy. That's with a white balance adjustment. And I'm happy to bring them to you. And I'm happy that you are invested in see yourself. So it made me happy if you purchase these um, film emulation lists and you can like tag me on IG or tag me on YouTube, however you want to do it, to show me how you are using these LUTs. I feel like this is a product that came around and uh, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I've been procrastinating. And I had to really sit down for a few months to make this really hit because I feel like a lot of people shoot on Sony and I feel like a lot of people don't know about the way you can make your footage look, man, with a simple color grade. So I took all the hard stuff out of there. You don't got to think about CSTs. You don't got to think about the film emulation and how to transfer Cineon. I tweaked these colors. These are actually color grades I use in my mu music videos and I tweaked them and I made them way better. And they're here for Sony cameras. So I appreciate y'all. Um, if you want to see more, man, just subscribe to the channel, like this video, follow me on IG. Hit me up if you got any questions. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.